Hey, 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 it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me as you do. Okay. All right, multicam editing. Can it be done using Corel Video Studio? Well, the answer is actually yes, but it's not perfect. And what do I mean by that is, in order to do multicam editing, you require multiple preview windows. And this is something that Video Studio does not give you, and that's, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Now, I'm going to show you how I do it uh, using Corel Video Studio. It's not perfect. It's just my way of doing it. If you have a better way, we would love to hear from you. Okay, so first thing we need to do, obviously, record our clips simultaneously of the subject using different angles. So I've got one angle here. I'll just turn this visibility off, and I've got one angle here, okay? Now, first thing, do not use the main track. The main track is what we call a snap track. In other words, if I place it in there, it snaps it to the beginning. Any edits I make along it, it just keeps snapping it to the beginning, okay? So I take it all on the overlay track and turn off the main track, okay? Now, what I need to do is line the two up. So have you ever seen the making of videos and they got the clapper out and they clabs, take two? The reason why they do that is so they can get a spike in the audio. And then later on when they have those multiple angle clips, they line it up using that spike. And again, I'll show you what I mean. So let's go into the wave format. And let's have a look for the clap. Now you'll see in this clip here, uh, my hand just comes in briefly in front of the camera. Okay, so I'll do the old manual hand clap and that creates a spike and I'll zoom in on that so you can really see it. So therefore, you'll see there's a spike there. And that's definitely the clap. So that means the other clips also have that exact same thing. So let's, let's find the other clips again. Um, let's zoom back out a bit, so here you go. So let's just drag this over, shall we? And then zoom back in. My, my, I should have, should have made this a little bit more professional, right? Okay, so I can clearly see that there's another spike here, so therefore that would indicate also the hand clap. Oh. Okay, so what I need to do now is line this spike and that spike up. So I might use the bottom one and then drag it across like that. And just keep moving until you see it's up perfectly. And when I get close to this, I actually use the code at the bottom where you see it's a time and frame rate. So it's now five and zero frames. So I think it might be five seconds and two frames. Let's do that and look at that. One more frame. When you get to this level, you work with frames and no longer in seconds, okay? So that to me looks like they're lined up perfectly. If I play it, now if I hear an echo or, or a delay, that means I'm still off. Okay, so I didn't hear an echo or a delay. That means my two clips are now lined up perfectly. So whether I'm using clip A or B, they are identical at the, at the, uh, the start. Okay, so now what I need to do is just get rid of all that unwanted footage. Oh, okay. So here he says, okay. So I might do an edit here using the S on my keyboard. If you're gonna do multiple multicam editing, get you familiar with the shortcuts because they really do help you. All right, I'm going to hold down my shift key and group these two clips, and then that allows me to drag them to the beginning. So here we go. Now, what obviously what I need to do is separate the audio, because I don't need the two audios, and I'm going to use one. Now, because, let's go back in here, you'll see it. You can see the bottom audio is much stronger than the top audio, and if I don't separate the audio, that means as I'm doing the editing, the audio is going to go up and down, and that's not going to be good. So... I'm going to mute the top, the top layer and then split the bottom layer, like so. Yeah. So it doesn't matter which, which clip I use, it's all going to run off this one audio track here. Go back uh, out of the sound mixer view so I don't longer need to see the audio wave file. Okay, so okay, okay. you might start here, you get to this point. Now, all I need to do now is have a look at the other clip. And to do that, I just toggle this on and off switch here. And that will give me an idea of how that other clip looks. And I thought, yeah, that looks good. So I might make another cut here. And I might make another cut here, another cut here. So I'm kind of guessing. And if I really want to be precise, I just go back and forth and have a look here. Oh, that looks good. So I might say every time his dumbbells are up in the air, I might make a cut, and as he comes down, I might make another cut. So I'm gonna go back and forth as he's pushing it up and down. It's not perfect, but you'll get the general idea. So I'm making edits and using this eye, or the eye icon to turn it on and off so I can see the overlay track above it. Now, once I've finished everything and I like what I have, it's just a matter of deleting the unwanted clips. So this one, I don't need, and I don't need this one, 
I don't need, uh, let's see, this one, this one. So as you can see, it's just alternating clips. So let's have a quick look of how that looks. It's a little bit fast. <laughs> Maybe I should have done longer durations between clips. But the point is you can clearly see that the two clips are lined up and I'm going back and forth. I'm going back and forth quite easy. So that is how we can do multi-cam editing using Corel Video Studio. Like I said, it's not perfect, but hey, at least you can do it. So there you go, my friends. And as always, thanks for watching.